for you too, Red Raiders. They're on their way. The next senior from Spalding, number 12, Gianna Torres. Good evening, we're here at Memorial Field on May 25th, 2018. It's senior night, it's Friday night on the eve of Memorial Day weekend. And we're honoring the seniors. And we're honoring the seniors for Spalding as well. This is a long standing Concord tradition where the parents are presented with, got an echo here, where the parents are presented with flowers for their long-standing support of their children who make the varsity team. And if we can pick up the uh, field announcer. And now we'll have the Concord High seniors introduced. Uh, I won't say it's their final home game. they are got a first round by, but they will be playing G um, June 2nd in a quarterfinal game right here. There's the uh, family. Jaden Morin. Thank you. 
Dr. Carl's plans are to be studying medical biology at the University of New England. She wishes to thank tonight both of her parents for being so supportive of her passion for the game of softball for the past decade. And all of her coaches for helping to shape her into the great, great player that she stands for. I'm going to have to stand there. When, you, when this is done, I'm going to have to step up and around here. Is he done? Is he done? Going to Queen's Can uh, College up in Canada next year. Families over here, the seniors in the yellow shirts. One left. Jillian, Jillian Dusso, captain who's been injured all season but is medically, med medically cleared to, medically cleared to uh, play softball tonight and in the playoffs. She and Dustin Bedroyer come back on the same night from uh, knee injuries. Let's hope they both do well. Take a break as they announce the alignments, lineups. And as the players are being introduced, we'll show you some of the uh, booster club plaques, and we'll show you some of the crowd. We got a good crowd here for senior night, and we got. Uh, Two teams uh, tied for sa tied for third, both at I think 14 and three, playing for the right to uh, have third place. Uh, both of teams will get a first round bye. There they are. There's the introductions. We'll have our national anthem, and we'll be back. Uh, we've got a ceremonial first pitch. There it is. And we're just about ready for game time. The wind is blowing from the usual northwest, which is behind our back, the camera's back, uh, from third base towards second base or second baseman, cutting across. Anything hit to right field will be impacted by the wind. 
And here's the uh, going over the ground rules. And we'll be back with the first pitch. So there's the uh, Spalding pitcher. She's waiting for her catcher who made the last out to get her gear on and come on out. And you can see the uh, Spalding uh, subs out there playing catch with the uh, outfielders and looks like the sh third baseman might be over. No. Keeping herself warmed up. Looks like Abby Rochette's gonna lead off as usual. She'll be batting. Uh, we have a uh, true left-hander, the uh, left-handed catcher, left-handed batter. She struck out. So not very often you see a left-handed catcher. A few years back, Concord had a left-handed shortstop. So a good athlete can overcome those, uh, I guess I'd say, I won't say taboos, but uh, hard and fast rules that left-handed catches aren't the way it should be. And apparently we got a problem here. Let's see what's going on. We'll take a break when they sort it out. So we're back. Apparently the uh, catcher, who we noted was a left-handed catcher on one of the warm-up pitches, uh, injured her uh, right hand, which is the hand she wears the glove on, and they had to, had to be attended to to the, uh, to the trainer. So Abby, Abby Rochette stands in, left-handed hitter, lead, been leading off all year. Power, power to all fields. There's a lot of slap hits to right, I mean to left, but uh, can also pull the ball with the wind blowing out. That flag is uh, standing out pretty good out there. All the way. Two, two strikes on her. Crowd still coming in here. Going to have a big, good night for a ball game. Runs up on it. Ball is outside. One ball, uh, one ball, two strikes to the leadoff batter. Hits the stands four rows, five rows behind us. See where you stand, Amy. John just got beaten. No heroes over there. You heard a loud thunk as it as it hit the uh, hit the metal stands here. Rochette was called out for stepping out of the box by the umpire. So uh, one out. Nud, I believe, stands in. Not the shortstop stands in. Pitch down low. One ball, one strike. Strike at strike at the knees. So one ball, two strikes. And that looks like it's going to be a hit. Drops in. Concord has its first base runner. The number two batter is on. Brings up the number three hitter. Is he done? Stands there with a runner on first. So Concord looking to scratch something around here. First pitch is a ball. One ball, one strike. A 
Fly ball out there, center field. Center field, the camp's under it. Hauls it in. Two out. Abby Corbett steps in. She's uh, Concord's catcher. And part of the uh, Abby Abby battery here that's been uh, so uh, instrumental in Concord's record and season, along with the other players. Pitch down low, ball one. With two outs, we'll expect uh, the runner on first to be off in the crack of the bat. Ball back. One ball, one strike. So I get a big, as good a turnout as I've seen at a softball game in quite a few years here. We got family, we got former players, we got uh, family of uh, graduates that have seen the, some of these players through the years. Throw down to first, runner is back. Count goes, count is two balls, one strike. Uh, fly ball, looks like it could drop in between them, but then it falls down. So an error on the left field. The Concord has first and third with two outs. Shortstop call for it, and then the left field to come in behind her went off the glove. I'm giving an error, error to the left fielder. Dakola stands in. Dakola stands in, and Nudd, who is uh, off and running with the uh, swing of the bat, makes it all the way to third and actually taken a turn toward home, and um, ball wasn't that far out in the outfield, so. Now runner on third base. Pitches a strike. Second baseman Decola stands in here. One ball, one strike. It's just outside, two balls, one strike. Concord looking to scratch a run in here on a single and an error. Count, go, count, count goes to, count goes to, looks like he's saying two and two. It's a swinging and the rally goes by the boards. After one, no score. Number 15 stands in. She, I believe, is the third baseman, the cleanup hitter, and uh, leads off the second inning in a scoreless game. Corbett puts one right down Main Street, strike one. Holds up on a high pitch. One ball, one strike. You can see in the backdrop there, background, we got some uh, quite a bit of people over on the Spalding sides. Swinging strike, one ball, two strikes. Sun is, uh, as you can see, is dropping down, just barely touching the diamond over there by second base. Soon we'll be down. Lights are already on. And gets her swinging. So I think that's strikeout number two. Designated player number 21 stands in. Mighty rip. Strike one. Right. 
Bunt foul, strike two. Number five batter in the order. Strikeout, swinging strike, that's strikeout number four. First baseman stands in, she's the number six hitter in the order. Emma. Pitch high, over her head, lays off. Oh, ball one. The nub of the second base person throws it over. And a quick one, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. So six, seven, eight in the order for Concord this inning. Foul ball. First baseman can't get over to it. Hit on, looks like it hit on the top of the uh, top of the uh, yellow protective coating. O'Neill. Skips away there. Almost hit her on the back foot. One ball, one strike. One ball, two strikes. And pokes it in there. Right, right fielder quick on the quick on the jump and gets it, hauls it in. Jaden Marin. Ball was played well by the right fielder who came in immediately on it. Jaden Marin stands in number 13. Follows it up over toward the lacrosse field, soccer field out back. One strike. Pitch down low, one ball, one strike. All the way over toward the trees. One ball, two strikes. All the one other one spoils it away. And that one two pitch again. Bar runs high. She kind of crouched a little to help uh, the ump on the call. Two, two, two is the, the count with one out in here in the bottom of the second. Follows another one away. So we got ourselves a battle here. We got ourselves a battle here. Two balls, two strikes as I look down to the scoreboard. Comes the 2 2 pitch. Pitcher, Spalding pitcher, toes the rubber. Swings on a low pitch, probably was a call strike. Two down. Pitcher wins the battle. Dusso stands in. Dusso's first at bat of the year. On strike, just captain, just got just got medically cleared to play. We've seen her all year with a leg on her brace. I'm sure the brace is still on there, but a fairly serious injury. One ball, one strike. Pitch down low. 
Two balls, one two balls, one strike. Spalding pitcher mixing it up high low and some off speed pitching as well. Fouls it off. Two balls, two balls, two strikes. Two out, nobody on, no score, bottom of the second. Round ball a second. Oh, she hits a hard ball down to, down to the second baseman and we go to the third inning, no score. And we're here for the top of the third. It should be seven, eight, nine for the uh, left fielder, center fielder, and right fielder. Um, Number five, she is the uh, left fielder. She, she made the error earlier. Tries to, tries to bunt. One strike. Strike. One ball, one strike. No, oh, two strikes in the batter, I'm sorry. Blue and, white dress. Right. and there she is. <laughs> and that's uh, five strikeouts out of seven outs for uh, Abby Rochette. Pretty much shows she's on the beam. She's had a lot of double figure strikeout games over 10. I think 15 is the highest I've seen uh, covered in the paper. Tempted bunt goes foul. Count, go, count goes to two strikes. Down low, can't get it a chase. One ball, two strikes. Another strikeout. Swings around to, squares around to bunt and pitches low and inside, jumps up. Voids being hit by the inside pitch. Ball one. Bunt right back to the pitcher. Quickly over there, quick down that line. Shows some good speed, but we go to the uh, bottom of the third. No score. So we're here for the bottom of the third. That'll be uh, nine, one, and two for Concord in the order. Monroe, Rochette, and Nudd. So Concord will have a couple left-handed batters in a row. A tight pitches duel, a scoreless duel here in the bottom of the third, as we kind of expected with the two, te two teams, first pitches a strike, two teams that have not uh, Lost only three games in the whole year, 14 and three. Monroe runs up, but stays off it. Foul ball, and Corbett, excuse me, uh, a left-handed catcher for uh, Spaulding gets over and gets it. Pop to the catcher. <laughs> Rochette comes up, uh, called out on a foul ball when the ump said she uh, hit the ball outside the batter's box. All one. Oh, 
All two. Oh, they're obviously aware of uh, Rochette's uh, skill as a bat person and power as well as uh, placement. Shits one uh, left field, the hauls it in just a couple feet inside the line down left field. Autumn Nunn stands, Nudd stands in there. She was the, uh, I think she was the only person got a hit the first time through the order for either team. Good swing, fouls it back. One strike. Pitch uh, off speed, way up high. Lays off. One ball, one strike. Fouls it off. Not, not easy to get something past Nud. Pitch stays high, lays off. Count goes to 2-2. Two, two. It's a fly ball out to center field. Center field that comes in, hauls it in. Lefty and Concord goes one, two, three. We go to the fourth. I'd like to take a moment here uh, to uh, we can see him up there, but uh, Dave Godbout has been running the scoreboard for uh, 15 years, and Dave is, Dave is up there. I don't know if we can see him, but uh, it takes a lot of people behind the scenes, and they continue to do some raffle, and then this is uh, Bill Goldsmith, uh, Concord Crimson Tide number one fan, who attended games for years, and then uh, here is, uh, here's some of our Jill, Number 12, a senior, Jaden, Isabel Dunn, Haley, number two, Nicole, the seniors, and then they have their jerseys uh, on a little cardboard mock-ups. Down below, we got a couple hidden there. But anyway, so one of th really compliment the uh, Booster Club for the uh, girls softball team. They're uh, announcing winners of raffles and gift certificates are being given out for Buffalo Wild Wings. They're a very organized group. And we got the uh, top of the fourth here. Uh, Abby Corbett has faced the minimum in the first three innings and has struck out, I believe, seven. So... Izzy, the shortstop, stands in. She was a uh, strikeout, a strikeout, I don't say victim, but she was in good company. She had six others in the uh, when her team goes down on strikes. Second base person comes in, tries to haul it, tries to haul it in in the air, unable to do it, but blocks it from getting it past. Stays with it. Throws it out. One to three. I mean, four to three. Number two batter stands in. Right down Main Street, strike one. She lined the shortstop, uh, not a hard liner, but One ball, one strike. One ball, two strikes. So she's one of the few batters in the first uh, time through the order that actually got a bat on the ball, line to short. Just inside. It's like a... Uh, we got a 3-2 count. I think that's the first 3-2 count we've seen. 
Down low. Well, there's the first base runner for Spalding. Catcher stands in. She was a strikeout victim. She made a pretty good play last in and uh, hauling in a foul pop that didn't get too hard. Ball outside. Two balls, no strikes on the batter. Catches and catches the zone at the knees. Two balls, one strike. Count outside. Three, three balls, one strike. So Rochette's got to come in. Runner on first. One out. Top of the fourth. Fouls it away. Fouls it up over the. Uh, Third base stands over on the, uh, over on the, I guess that's the practice football field over there. It's roped off trying to grow some grass. So 3-2 is the count. He falls one off. Got a, got, a, got a swing, quick bat with some power there. So we're going to go out and talk. Have a little conference at the mound. The conference of the Abbeys, they have a, Runner, uh, batter came down and talked to the third base coach. So we'll try that 3-2 pitch again. Well, another one. Now we got ourselves a battle here. Got ourselves a battle. Three two pitch again. Balls one up behind us. Hits the stands behind us. You gotta watch how those left-handed batters are up, so that was not in the same uh, section as we are, but the other one was. So uh three two again. The biggest battle of the game here. Fouls another one off. Well, we got uh a couple of third place teams battling uh, for some uh, bragging rights as they go into the tournament here. Yeah. Hey! Gets it going after a high hard pitch. Strikeout, I think strikeout number eight. So Abby Rochette wins that battle. Strikeout number eight. So we got one out, pitch up high, one out. It's a cleanup hitter here. Designated player, she was a strikeout victim first time through the order. One ball, one strike. So we usually uh, show the scoreboard when we're here, but uh, some people standing down the stance can't get a clear shot. Pitch runs high. Two balls, one strike. Outside. And she walks him, so two walks. Uh, sorry, this is a designated player, I'm sorry. Pitch down low. So Rochette trying to pitch herself out of a jam here. Walked a couple, we got... Uh, I guess we only oh, we got two out. Strike at the knees. They're giving her that low strike, but uh, so 
Two on, two out, top of the fourth. Pitch is outside. Ground down to first, scooped up, and the rally goes by the boards, and we go to the bottom of the fourth, no score. As he done stands in, bottom of the fourth. I think she's the number three batter in the order. Fouls one away. Dunn popped the shortstop the first time around. So we have three, four, and five for Concord. Dunn, Corbett, and Decola. Quick, hard throw. Hard hit ball, a shortstop. She scoops it up, digs it out, throws it over. One up, one up, one down. Hard hit ball, she hit it right on the nose. Corbett with lots of power. Kind of hits one that may drop in. Second baseman makes a great play over there behind uh, first base, gonna drop in on the grass and actually short right field. So we're seeing some pretty spectacular play here. Uh. It's all right. I'll get no, no. I'll get it between innings. I'm all set. Putting my pen away. Dropped it down. I'm second thing I've dropped here tonight. So two outs. Two outs in the. Uh, Bottom of the fourth. There's the strike. There's the strike. Oh, ball. Appreciate your help. Thanks a lot. We have a very helpful fan here. She hits one that's second baseman over, so they go one, two, three, and we go to the uh, top of the fifth, no score. She takes one for the team, hit by a pitch. Now they get their leadoff batter on. Number five stands in here. Great play, great play. Gets her at first. Rochette scoops it up. First thought she might try the tagger, but runner was past her. And so she uh, underhands it quite quickly to the uh, first baseman. So the runner's at second with one out. Corbett tries to, tries to make the catch, unable to do so. So they're going to play a little small ball here. I guess when you get to the fifth inning with no score, you've got to play a little, any type of ball to get a run around here. So runner over there at second with one out. One strike on the batter. Two strikes on the batter. She won't be bunting this third time. If she does, it'll still be, a, be an out if it goes foul. So we got two strikes. Two strikes and one out. Gets her with a strikeout. So well, that's two outs. Looks like strikeout number nine. We got. Uh, 
No, we had a we had an out in there. One to three, strikeout number nine, and this is the uh, number nine hitter. Looks like they're putting in a they're putting in a pinch hitter here. I suspect. Looks like the uh, looks like we got a pinch pinch hitter here. I don't know. We got a uh, pinch runner going in. What do we got here? I'm going to put a pinch runner in there, out there in second. Put put a speed burner out there. So they've got the first baseman gets a uh, number 14 stands in there. She's the number nine hitter, and she uh, she was a uh, was a strikeout victim. So two outs, runner on second. First pitch is a strike. Got her it out at third. Tried to steal third, tried to steal third, and the uh, good throw slap tag down. So the small ball doesn't work, and we go to the bottom of the fifth with no score. Conquered with good defense. O'Neill stands in to lead off for Conquered in the uh, bottom of the fifth. Uh, no, no score. Pitches duel. It's a number to that first baseman. Ground out. One pitch. One out. Morin was a strikeout uh, victim the first time around. Swinging strike one. Pitch down low, one ball, one strike. Jaden Morden stands in. Looking to get something started with Concord. Fouls it off, one ball, two strikes. It's a one, two pitch. This one foul, down past first base. Stays, stays inside the fence, but can certainly foul when it was hit. Count remains one ball, two strikes. Foul ball, third base. Try that again. Try it out. See, we got a beautiful night here. You can see that sky up there with the lights. Good promise uh, expected for Saturday for Memorial Day weekend. Good eye. I think our count goes to uh, two balls, two strikes on Morin. Shortstop hells it in. Two up and two down here in the bottom of the fifth. Dusso uh, grounded to uh, second first time around. And your captain hits one, hits one, hits one. she is first game back first game back no. first game back uh, after being out all season with an injury and hits one uh, ends up on second and looks like looks like they're probably going to give her a pinch runner do so so Monroe stands in the number nine hitter she popped to the catcher, so Concord with uh, Concord with a run on second, two outs. So Concord with a runner at second, looking to get a hit and get her around. 
All right, um, signals, we're ready to go. Number nine hitter. As he beats it out. Third baseman come over and gets it. Looked like it could have been the pitcher's ball, so he got an infield hit. So Concord with uh, first and third with two outs here. We'll see if we're going to try a try a steal here. We got the top of the order. Top of the order. Rochette stands in. I don't think they'll be stealing with uh, Rochette. At the, trying to steal with Rochette at the bat. Rochette able to uh, be in the spot she wants to be. Help herself. It's one foul. Considerably foul down the left field line. Stays within the fence. That, but that left, that right, right field is playing her pretty deep out there. Reasonably deep. Yeah. So two outs, two on, bottom of the fifth, scoreless game. A hits one over our head. Two strikes. So she's, uh, well, we'll see what she can do here. She'll foul a few off. Uh, shot stop, hauls it in. Well, the rally goes by the boards, and we go to the six. No score. <laughs> One strike on the batter. Pitch up high, one ball, one strike. This is a number nine batter in the order, I believe. Foul ball, two strikes. She was a strikeout victim first time in the third inning through the order. And she's a strikeout victim. I think that's number 10 for strikeouts here. Number 10 brings up top of the order, the shortstop. First pitch is a strike, so Corbett continues on a roll. We got a scoreless uh, pitches duel here in the top of the sixth. Swinging strike. <laughs> like two strikes in the batter. Fouls on a foul ball. Couldn't see where it was. Count remains two strikes. Falls it away. Falls it away. Two strike count two strike count remains. Corbett goes over. Swaps swaps the uh ball with the uh pitcher. I mean with the umpire. We'll try that 2-2, 0-2 two, two, uh, oh, pitch again, uh, pitch number five to this batter. And she helps her out. Strikeout number 11 here. Two outs in the uh, top of the sixth. Last time around, I believe she walked, got to first. First pitch is a strike.
Pitch up high. One ball, one strike. Swinging strike. Throw to first, six to three, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. No score. You're getting into my turf here a little bit. Okay, thanks. No, 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 it's all right. I'm just saying. I got a classic here. I'm running out of battery, though. Yeah, well, it's time. It's time. Yeah. And there it is, a seeing eye single. Seeing eye single. Couldn't have thrown the ball any better to have it land. So Conkin starts it off in the uh, bottom of the sixth. And we got senior captain Dunn here. Foul ball. No, it just it just went. No, it just rolled foul right at the end. Rolled foul. A one strike on the batter. One ball, one strike. Dunn, number three batter. I, I won't say you're looking, looking more for her power than her bunting, but. There it is, error at first. Second baseman can't hold on to it, so Conkett has two on and nobody out here. Dunn plays a bunt down, legs it out, and we got number two batter down there at second. Abby Corbett stands in, so we got an E4. And you wonder whether Duke Sawyer is going to be playing small ball here like he did already. Well, this is your number four hitter. All right, field is choice. One to, one to five. Gets the runner going to third, but they still have first and second with uh, one out. Patola. Second base person. She has uh, struck out and popped to, popped to second here. Pitch down low, ball one. She struck out and popped to second in two prior appearances. Oh. oh. Line to the pitcher and they get the runner off. All right, Duke's gonna go out and talk to him. I think she was back. So the rally goes by the boards real quick. Yeah. Uh, umpire behind home would have had a good call uh, on that. So we go to the uh, top of the sixth, top of the seventh here in a scoreless game, Corbett. Corbett has uh, struck out. Uh, 
Tiger had struck out 11, 10 or 11 at this point. It's down low. Three balls, no strikes here on the right down Main Street. One strike. Three balls, one strike. Corbett battling back here. A single up the middle. Unable to get to it, so Spalding has their leadoff batter in, on in the seventh. That was their catcher. Third base, number 15 stands in. She has uh, struck out and she has walked. So. So we get the out, runner moves up to second. Go ahead, uh, the only run we've maybe seen in this game is on second base. Number five batter stands in. Looks like this may be a pinch, maybe a pinch hitter. I'm not sure. Or the swinging strike. One ball, one strike is the count. Runner on second, one out. At the knees, at the knees. Framed well by Corbett. Just gets a piece of it, fouls it over the screen toward the uh, lacrosse field. One ball, two strikes. Oh, big, big out here. One out, runner on second. Oh, she goes up the ladder and she just gets a piece of it, fouls it away back again. Count remains, one ball, two, one ball, two strikes. Stays with it, shortstop knocks it down, throws it over on a hard hit ball, six to three. Runner moves to third. First baseman. Grounded to second and I think she was a hit batsman. Took the hit batsman. So two outs, top of the seventh, runner on third. All the way. Boy, hits the balloons over there. Hits the balloons. One of the hardest foul, foul balls. Fortunately, nobody was hit by it. Umpire replenishes his stock of uh, replacement balls in the bag. One strike on the batter, two outs. Runner on third. Pitch up high. One ball, two strikes. Bottom of the seventh, a scoreless tie. Elise O'Neill stands in. She's uh, number number six in the order. Uh, we've got six, seven, and eight uh, scheduled up this inning, and they've had some hits in the bottom part of the order. First pitch is a strike.
Uh, there it is. One pitch. Aiden Morton, Warren. center. McConkett has the uh, winning run on first with one out in the bottom of the seventh. He's up uh, do so. Do so had a double. Pitch is up high, ball one. <laughs> we got one, one ball, one strike. Field single, so Conkett has first and second. And we'll probably get a uh, if we're going to courtesy runner. I don't know. We'll see here. We're going to take a break while they uh, make a substitution. <laughs> Haley Monroe stands in. <laughs> Haley Monroe, senior. I think they've played these uh, these scenarios out many times in their career through uh, Little League and uh, organized softball. Uh, first and second, one out. Winning run on second. This is a ball. Pitch outside, ball two. Going to make her come in with a pitch here. Oh. Count goes to three and oh. First and second. Third base open. Got to come in with a pitch here. So I think the take sign is probably on here. I know, squunch in with a, a three balls, one strike. Foul back, count goes full, three, two. Two pitch. Fouled away over here by. F Count remains 3 2. So, just to warn you folks, we're down into less than five minutes left in this battery here, so this may be the last inning we get. So, we're certainly hoping and praying Concord can get that run around and win it in the bottom of the seventh. So, foul ball. 3-2 again. So obviously uh, Monroe, Haley Monroe, pretty good with that bat. Not gonna get the get the get it on the ball. Working uh, working for that walk here. There it is. 
Wilson. There is. And McConkin wins it in the bottom of the seventh here as Haley Monroe and Dusso seniors graduating on senior night bring the run in in the bottom of the seventh. And Concord wins and goes to 15 and three and will grab third place and will be next playing on Saturday. But she worked it, it was a three two count and she went it and we got pretty, good, pretty appreciative fans and crowd here. But in the nick of time folks, we got four minutes left on the battery. Thank you, thank you, thank you for it. A spectacular finish. Charlie Russell for Concord TV. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the playoffs.